Let's move on to our last example of trigonometric identities. So in our last example, we have to again prove that this left hand side is equal to right hand side for all the values of A wherever our trigonometric ratios are defined. Now if we look at these, this question, if you look at left hand side and right hand side, can you find a way out so we can proceed somehow? No. Uh, if we look at LHS, we can cross, sorry, we can multiply the brackets and then get cos k into sec k, cos k into cos a. But even if we multiply these two, we'll not get anything. So let's apply a concept that if we are get stuck somewhere, we just change every trigonometric function into sin and cos. So let's change LHS into sin and cos. So if I write LHS, this is cos a k minus sin a into sec k minus cos a. This is our LHS and I'll break this term cos a k into sin a and sec k into cos a. So this will be cos a k is 1 by sin a minus sin a. This will be 1 by cos a minus cos a. Now you can see that we can proceed further to simplify this equation. So here if I take the LCM, LCM will be sin a. Here will come 1 and minus sin a into sin a will be sin square a. So this will be sin square a. Similarly, we can solve this bracket. Take the LCM. LCM will be cos a and this will be 1 minus this will be cos a into cos a that will be cos square a. So this will be cos square a. Now if you look at these two terms in the numerator 1 minus sin square a and 1 minus cos square a and think of our first identity. Our first identity was sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. Now if I take one term from left hand side to right hand side, will you be able to see these terms 1 minus sin square a and 1 minus cos square a? If I take sin square theta to right hand side, then I will get cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. So in place of this, I can write cos square a. Similarly, in place of this, if I take cos square theta to right hand side, then what will remain? It will remain that sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta. So in place of this term, I can write sin square a. So let's do it. This will become 1 minus sin square a will become cos square a using identity first that was sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 upon sin a. Similarly, we can write this as 1 minus cos square a will become sin square a whole upon cos a. Now if I simplify these, this is sin a is in denominator and here is sin square a. So 1 sin a will go. Similarly, this is cos a and in numerator we have cos square a. So 1 cos a will go and finally we will get sin a into cos a. Now if you look at this term, we can't simplify it further. So we will leave it here only. Now we'll take RHS. So if we take the RHS, our RHS is 1 upon tan A plus cot A. So can we add somehow tan A and cot A? 
can you find out some way so that we can add tan a and cot a we can't so since we can't proceed further we'll break tan and cot into sin and cos so let's break them this will be 1 upon tan a is sin a upon cos a so this will be sin a upon cos a and cot a is cos a upon sin a it is 1 upon tan a so this will become cos a upon sin a now you can see we can proceed further by taking lcm so let's take the lcm equals to 1 upon what will be the lcm lcm will be sin a into cos a so this will be sin a into cos a and what will come here here will come sin a into sin a that will become sin square a so this will be sin square a plus and if you look at this term this will become cos a into cos a that will be cos square a so this will become cos square a now if you look at this term this will go in the numerator so we can take it in the numerator and if you look at this term sin square a plus cos square a this is nothing but a first identity so that says sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so in place of this sin square a plus cos square a we can write 1 so let's do it now if it if we simplify it further this will become the sin a upon into cos a will go in the numerator and in denominator in place of this sin square a plus cos square a we can write 1 so this will be 1 now this is a last step we can't simplify it further and we also if we compare it with our left hand side it is equals to our right hand side so finally if we look at the result of right hand side and left hand side we can say that left hand side is equals to right hand side and hence we can say that this expression is equals to this expression now in such type of questions what we had understood is that if in any place when we are dealing with trigonometric ratios we get struck we can't proceed further to simplify any equation or expression we'll just break all the other trigonometric ratios in form of sine and cos and then we can surely get a way to simplify the trigonometric function